What happens when your body runs out of carbs? Have you ever wondered what happens to your body when it runs out of carbs? Imagine your body running on empty, tapping into its hidden reserves to keep you going. In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating process that takes over when your carbohydrate stores are depleted. Trust me, you'll want to stick around to understand how your body turns fat into fuel, literally. After you've eaten your last carb-heavy meal, your body's first line of defense is your liver, where it stores glycogen, essentially a form of glucose. This glycogen reserve is critical for maintaining your brain's function, and it can sustain your brain's glucose needs for about 12 to 16 hours. But what happens after that? Once your liver's glycogen is depleted, your body enters a fascinating metabolic state known as ketosis. At this point, your body's usual fuel source, carbohydrates, is no longer available, and it must turn to other energy sources to keep you functioning. Here's where things get interesting. When your body is in ketosis, the liver becomes a crucial player in the production of glucose. It engages in a process called gluconeogenesis, which is the creation of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources. Let's break this down. Glycerol. One of the primary sources for gluconeogenesis is glycerol, a component derived from the breakdown of triglycerides, stored body fat. Interestingly, studies have shown that in a state of ketosis, up to 10% of your glucose needs can be met through the conversion of glycerol alone. Lactate and pyruvate. These are byproducts of anaerobic metabolism. Think of them as the leftovers when your muscles burn glucose during exercise. Your liver recycles these byproducts into glucose, which helps maintain energy levels even when carbs are scarce. Amino acids, alanine and glutamine. When carbs are low, your body can also convert certain amino acids from muscle tissue into glucose. Alanine and glutamine are the most common amino acids used in gluconeogenesis. The fascinating part? Your body prioritizes this process to ensure that your brain gets the glucose it needs, even if it means breaking down muscle proteins to do so. But the liver isn't the only organ stepping up during ketosis. As starvation or carbohydrate restriction continues, your kidneys also begin producing glucose. Research has shown that during prolonged fasting or ketogenic diets, the kidneys can produce up to 40% of the glucose required by your body. Did you know that the average adult liver stores about 100, 120 grams of glycogen? That's enough to keep you going for 12, 16 hours without food. In a state of ketosis, your brain's energy comes almost entirely from ketone bodies, with only about 30% of its energy needs being met by glucose derived from gluconeogenesis. These processes highlight just how adaptable your body is. Even when carbs are completely off the table, your body has multiple backup systems in place to keep you alive and functioning. This metabolic flexibility is not only fascinating, but also a testament to how resilient the human body can be. Now that you've unlocked the secrets of what happens when your body runs out of carbs, Take a moment to donate a subscribe to fund our channel. Your support allows us to continue creating more in-depth content like this, exploring the incredible science behind how your body works. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insights into the remarkable ways your body adapts.